I finally bit the bullet and ordered subframe bushings, reinforcement. A weld and diff plate, just to make it a little easier to weld the diff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And with this car having like 270,000 miles, I kind of expect it to let go pretty fast, but I figured I might as well have it let go while I'm having fun, so. the nuts off of the e-brake cables inside the car um, and that's just going to allow the e-brake cables that run through the bottom of the car to fall out when I pull the subframe down um, everything back here is disconnected what I did with the brake uh, caliper is I took that rear camber arm off down here and that allowed me to slip this over it so I didn't have to take the actual line off Got the whole exhaust out and then just pulled the drive shaft out a little bit, just enough so that when we take the subframe out, it will fall down with the subframe, but it's completely disconnected. Um, I have all the nuts broken loose, so I'm just, I'm ready to drop it now. I completely forgot to film, but here is the subframe pulled. It ended up being the four subframe mounts that you can see in this picture and then there was another four 13 millimeter bolts right under where the axle mounts the subframe did fight us a little bit but basically we just kind of wiggled it around and slowly let the jack down it helped a lot having three people so i'd recommend having at least two trying to do it you could probably get it by yourself but it's going to be a real big pain We got a package from Garagistic, or however you say it. No stickers this time, no way. Pretty sad about that one. Here are the welding plates, or I guess I'm gonna be doing the epoxy method, but probably better to weld them in. All right, got all the uh, mounting points cleaned up with the flap disc. Um, so now I'm just gonna epoxy them in. Got the bushings for the diff and the subframe, the weld-in plates. 
And Drift HQ gave us some stickers. All right, I've been trying to get this done really fast, but a little update. The subframe went in. Um, it went in fairly easy, but we had three people, so that helped a lot. You can see here's the reinforcement plates. I painted over them. And then here's the bushings. The bushings were a pain. I just put them in the freezer and that helped a little bit to hit them in. Got some new brakes and rotors on just because I had it off already. So, yep, I'll update you guys when everything's back together. Just thought of is e-brake cables run through the chassis right here. Um, I made the mistake of not putting them through the chassis and then I put the subframe up and realized I had to drop the subframe again to get the e-brake cables back in. So make sure that you get these cables in before. There's, you can see one runs on one side of the drive shaft and the other runs on the other side. And then they go through here and up into the car. It's a little crooked. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>